Hi, I'm Mark Loftus, and thanks for joining us for another episode of Post TV. Today, we're talking with Chris Spar, VP of Sales and Marketing for DPA Microphones, which is based in Denmark, but he's here in the U.S. Chris, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So you guys have products that really span a number of applications, broadcast, live performance, really different scenarios there. But for us, what would the products be that would be best for our audience of production, filmmaking, or studio work? Can you give mm -hmm. us an idea what, what products fall into that category? Yeah. I mean, we, we, you know, we do a lot of onset stuff, of course, uh, when things are being shot, movies and TV shows are being shot, uh, um, a lot of body-worn microphones, things like that. Uh, but getting into the, you know, into the post side of it, and especially now since we're, everybody's kind of remote, um, uh, we actually have a product called the MMA-A, and I'm actually using it um, right now for this, for the audio uh, hmm. that we're doing in, in one of our headsets here. But it's a, it's a mobile interface, and right now I have it plugged into my laptop, but it could be used for a phone or whatever. Um, so people now have the ability to, you know, you have an actor somewhere, I mean, probably in their apartment, in their house or whatever. Hey, we got to put a couple of lines in the scene. We're still doing some mixing for it. I can't meet you there at your place or have you come to the studio to do the lines. You know, we're actually have the ability now to get a DPA mic that you could have used on set, whether it's a shotgun mic or a lavalier mic. Um, with this little MMA A uh, interface and send it to the talent. They plug it into their phone. They just, you know, do a quick recording on their whatever app they want to use on their phone or do it live on the, um, on the laptop. And then you have really high production quality remote audio, basically. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, you're using your own device, but the, uh, the input to it is giving you that much better quality. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not, and it's a very simple kind of a plug and play thing. It's really app independent. So you use whatever the person's comfortable using on their, you know, on their iPhone. It's only, uh, it's only iOS um, uh, products. It's not Android. Okay. Uh, it's any laptop, any Mac or PC, but you know, if a, if a person's comfortable using, um, FaceTime or I don't know, whatever app on their phone and they just are just the video camera app on their phone. They can plug this thing in again, whatever mic they maybe were using on set and just kind of reread, redo your lines and save it and ship it off to, you know, email it off to whoever's mixing for you or, or, or editing. And then you're, you're pretty darn close to what you got on set there, at least with the equipment you are. So. Yeah. Yeah. How about uh, some of the studio stuff? I know you guys have, uh, products for live instruments and stuff like that. If mm -hmm. somebody was doing recording, we deal with composers that are doing original soundtracks and scores and stuff. Do mm -hmm. you have products that would fit into that quarter category for somebody that might be working in a small home studio, but using some live instrumentation? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we do um, kind of really how we got into this, this was through making microphones basically to reproduce an orchestra or using our measurement microphones that from years ago from our original company, B and K and adapting them to use for music applications. Uh, we didn't want to do measurements, but we wanted to stick them in front of these instruments and basically accurately capture the instrument. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been making those types of products for years. And now people are kind of starting to get hip to the idea that DPA mics are not just made for orchestras any longer. You don't have to be, you know, the uh, New York Philharmonic to be able to, to use these things. You can get them in your home studio, mm -hmm. plug them in whatever interface you want to use. And it gives you, you know, it, it basically, it reproduces or captures the exact sound of your instrument. So if you're a violin player, a cellist, guitar, vocals, I mean, really, we don't make mics for specific instruments necessarily. We'll make mm -hmm. a mic that will capture, that's kind of made for anything. So it's nice that okay. you go, oh, I have a really good guitar mic, but I don't have a good violin mic. Well, with a lot of ours, you got a good mic and you can stick it on whatever you want to stick it on to. Um, we make a, um, a specific product called a 4099 that basically you just change the mounts and the clips on the microphone to clip them to different instruments. So if you are a multi-instrumentalist and you're at home and you're doing a piano thing and you're upright piano, and then you want to put, put a guitar p uh, part on it, then you just pop the clip off of the piano mic and pop the guitar clip onto it. And now you have a guitar mic, um, gotcha. which you is really also, convenient. I was going to say, you also have some surround kits there. Is that for production surrounds, like acquisition, acquiring mm -hmm. sound? Can you talk a little bit about that? It's more for the acquisition part of it. Um, yeah, it's more for the, the in the field stuff. I mean, they use it, um, you know, a lot of those outside scenes in the Revenant movie and, you know, a lot of that type of stuff. Uh, we're now actually starting to see it being used in a lot of live music applications, a lot of concerts. Mm -hmm. um, that people are sticking this, it's a 5.1 mic, putting it out there in the middle of the audience and getting very, really accurate 
audience capture, whereas before you'd use some audience mics and it would just kind of sound like a mash of noise almost. Mm -hmm. um, uh, now we're able to kind of bring the articulation and the clarity to these surround mics. So it's really good for, it's more for capture stuff though. It's, it's uh, I would say after, I mean, as you're, as you're getting this stuff originally out in the set, that's, that's what it's for. Well, with uh, trade shows and everything being canceled these days, things kind of took a turn, uh, unexpected turn, but you guys have a couple of different initiatives for people that want to uh, find out more about products, find out some tutorials or demos, and even some service stuff. Can you talk about what your online initiatives are? Yeah, we're doing um, a lot of, uh, it's, it's, right now it's mostly Facebook Live, uh, and we're going to be doing uh, going actually to YouTube uh, streaming stuff as well. Um, and hopefully some Instagram stuff also, because we have, of course, like most companies, we have all these social media platforms. Yeah. Um, and there's actually a Facebook Live event happening as we're speaking right now um, with one of our live sound um, uh, people that we work with a lot. Um, and it's it these events are are they run the gamut from either interviews with kind of industry professionals where we're just kind of talking about everything. It's not a DPA thing. It's a, it's a life thing basically mm -hmm. like, Hey, what, how'd you get into the business and what gear do you use and how do you deal with uh, ornery artists or, you know, or whatever the case right. might be. Uh, and it's been live sound. It's been um, production sound guys. We just had uh, somebody on yesterday or actually Monday Whit Norris, who is a, a known in the TV and film world. Um, we're going to be doing some theater stuff, recording studio stuff. And then we're also doing these more product specific educational things, um, as well, where we can either train people on a certain product or like you talked about some service stuff. We're doing things about like even how to clean your microphones. Mm -hmm. So something that's of course now in everybody's consciousness is I'm using these lavs or these, whatever, these handheld mics on so many different singers or actors, and I got to keep them clean properly and hopefully keep these things working and keep them germ free. And we gave a nice little 20 minute overview on how to do that, which is really cool. Yeah. And now during their downtime, they can use that to service their equipment and make, make use of their time. So that's a good idea too. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's always good to have the hygiene part of it, but it, it just, you know, now it's really important. So uh, for anybody who wants to know more about the company and your releases, uh, where would you direct them? I would say uh, the website first and foremost, which is DPA microphones.com. Um, and then of course, all the, uh, Facebook live stuff, we're on Facebook and Instagram, LinkedIn, um, YouTube, like I said, so it's, uh, they can go right to the Facebook page and see all the events, we have everything scheduled out for the next, I think two weeks, uh, currently, but yeah. a lot of stuff in the pipeline for the next two months, basically. Sure. All right. Well, definitely, uh, we'll direct them over there. And I want to thank you for taking some time to speak with us today, Chris. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have Hopefully a good one. Next time we'll see each other in person. <laughs> that, that would be nice. <laughs> Very good. Thanks Take again. care.